Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout will be a one way bout. Brought to you by Club 1341, the official after party of Valor and 3FC. Your record for this bout will be Justin Walden. This is the first fighting out of the red corner with a record one win, one loss. He weighed in 167 pounds, fighting out of Siegler's MMA in Augusta, Georgia. With a record one win, no losses. He went in 171 pounds. But I got a seat. TKO in Knoxville, Tennessee. Michael Dando! Here we go. Michael Dando versus Corey Hall. Michael Dando. White shoes. This fight brought to you by Club 1341. Home of the after party. We've got uh, Corey Hobbs is a Kempo style fighter. Good head kick. Dando pushes it to the cage. Hobbs, good butt bump. Bringing the fire here. That locks up a standing guillotine. Arm in though. Dando seems to recover very well. Bob's is working his way off the cage there. Some underhooks. Dando staring in on tight. Switches his hips. Got a warning for holding the fence on Dando. Take, take down attempt. Hobbs. That was awkward. What we got here, another submission attempt from Hobbs. Looks like a, almost an arm bar or a triangle. It's very close. Dando staying really calm here in bed, another bad position. This is an awkward position, really. There's the triangle. Hits to the top of the head here from Bobby. Micah has escaped. Rocky from the guard. Hobbs. A little cheese grid action. Got another triangle attempt. Seems a little better, see if can engage the hips. A little wall walk on the cage. Very tight. Two strikes from top and bottom here. It's an awkward position, but it's a submission attempt, so. It doesn't look like it is. Not a lot of pressure. Hips don't seem to be engaged. You can get a straight on arm bar and a straight on trying to get position, but I don't think he's got that either. Someone awkward right now in this, uh, during this fight here. Dando controlling on top, scoring a lot of points here, even though Hobbs is very active on bottom. Slow down guard here. That's going to be a little boring. Hate to see that. I mean, it's a good. They're working pretty good. Very knowledgeable referee in there now. Let's we'll see what happens. Standing them up both times here. Very spinning back fist from Hobbs lands. Dando lands a couple. Very awkward striking. Did. I don't know if he got hit in there, if he's hurt or what. As the first round ends, Dando ends up on top. Absolutely. The position battle was definitely won by Dando there. Although you have to look at the, the defense. He was on defense the whole fight. So it's a tough one to call, but I think Mike came out on top still. If you just go purely by position, which seems to be the case in a lot of these fights, uh, Dando definitely was on top of most of it. Uh, Hobbs, even though Hobbs was very active, so I'm gonna, uh, I'll go, I think Dando won that as well. Ten kids, once again, not wearing shoes. Shoes are overrated, right? For real. Well, I had the opportunity to go and train with Mr. Hobbs uh, for this fight, so I'm trying to remain partial. But this is the this is the match that we wanted, you know, basically that we were expecting uh, a tempo st striker versus a very very stout, very good technical wrestler from Dando. Both 
look ready to pop. Starting the second round with the glove tap. Good body kick. Pushes it to the kick. Pulls guard in the guillotine. Daniel, Daniel clears the tie. Now he's back on top. Sneaking in there from Dando. Really working the hips like he should, so he's just in a really bad spot of Dando. Keep his head up, Cage, Micah. Keep his head up, Cage. He's smushed pretty good against the Cage, so it's really tough to perform any kind of jiu-jitsu crush against the Cage like that. That's a, a very good point. He's doing a great job of holding Hobbs against the Cage. Showing with that shoulder, his right shoulder. Get a calf spot there. I mean, big punches hitting to the body and the upper ribs there. That's that's uh, That'll wear on you after a while. Yeah, uh, it is, because all he's doing is just holding on. He's quit the submission attempts, if you notice that. I have. They're not a lot of active in the hips. He's giving up a half guard for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it was just boring. Ooh, another head kick there. And Dano puts him right up against the cage again. That seems to be the case. Very good technique. Pulls guard again. He's got a deep guillotine in. Oh, head pops right out. Very soft. And back in the guard. He's pushing his head to the fence, just eliminating the head. Just a beautiful rest. Very good. Reminds me a little bit of Randy Couture there. Leaning forward on the weight. Still keeping a good low base. And hitting every chance he gets. Guard actually, so. Yeah, very uh, yeah, uh get out. Absolutely. You just can't sit there on your back and take it. And, uh, he's coming out to his hips a little bit, but he's not using his feet, he's just locking into that guard. It's very difficult. Another stand up. Very good point. Good leg kick. Just like that. He's Another just gonna right back to smash it. That's it. It's perfect. 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 Per
Well, let's hope Maka gets back in the gym. That was a great fight for him. He had a great game plan. Absolutely. That was, uh, I mean, for a one-on-one, -on -one, that was a, that was a dominating performance by him until it just got caught. That's only Mike Adando's second fight, too. It so is. Very impressive. Absolutely. We're going to turn it over to Cody Gwynn for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dustin Wall, and comes off this fight. 22 seconds in the third round. Your winner by submission, Nikki Choke, Corey Hart.